<laughs> okay, this is the project area. I'm gonna take as much as I can out of there. Um, I'll probably leave the plants up and around there as much as possible, but clear this area over here and then I'm gonna start work. Project day. Da -da -da -da. Before I move them, let's have a look. Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful little seedlings. They look amazing. And they are dry. They've dried out, so <laughs> lots of work today, but this is really good news. Look at that, broccoli, broccoli. Yay! Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh my god, look what, look, oh my god, did you see that? There's a little frog, Bailey found a frog. <laughs> oh, there you are, little froggy, hi. Ah, oh, he was living underneath the seeds. <laughs> oh, what a funny frog. We've got lots of frogs around here, that's amazing. The more frogs, the less mosquitoes, is kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> look at this amazing plant I got here. Just don't want to scare the frog too much, but I kind of want to show you this. Bye bye, froggy. Okay, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Fisalis. So, hopefully, this guy does okay. Got it from Lidl. Ta da! A million earthworms. All very happy and healthy. <laughs> They're all hanging out with the seedlings over there. Saved. They're going into the garden. Woohoo! Oh, they can hang out with the nettles. Okay, so here we are next morning. Uh, looking good. Did not rain overnight, so that's awesome. And I just realized I'm not really sure if I explained properly why I'm digging this out. Because <laughs> probably most people are like, no, just build on top of it. So let me explain why I'm digging it out. Uh, that corner over there, Bailey says good morning. Morning, Bailey. <laughs> Morning coffee. <laughs> um, so as you can see, that corner over there, uh, right on top of the step here. And look at that sort of level there, right? By one or two millimeters. So what that means is <laughs> this slope, without this bucket in the way, um, is absolutely incredibly uneven. It's a steep slope for a patio situation. So this is, just to make sure we know exactly, so here we go, 19, it's a 19, no sorry, 17, 17 Can you believe that? Just about, just about, just about. It's a 17 centimeter slope from there, that top cement to this bottom step there. So instead of just pouring 17 amounts of centimeters cement over here and, you know, making it thinner up that way, I've just decided to dig it all up and make it level so that it could be a little bit more of a normal situation instead of a crazy situation. Yeah, so that's where I'm at today. I'm going to finish up those last little bits over there. I'm going to try and make that as straight as possible, see what happens. And then I'm going to shift this clay dirt around and I'm going to try and make that point the highest so that it can run this way and that way I'm going to dig that really deep. Um, just so that it comes away from the house. It used to be pooling over there, as you can see. Okay, that's it. Let's get going. Okay, here's the update. These are all the rocks I took f out of there. And I finished. I'm going to leave that teeny tiny bit of cement because it's just a drop. And yeah, I think it's fine because all of this soil is going to go that way. So that's going to get covered up anyway. Here got some cement out 
from under there. It's a little bit scary to take cement from <laughs> out from under the house, but I also need to recognize that that's just rendering. It's not gonna make the house fall down. It's okay. My house is not gonna fall down. <laughs> so yeah, just to take a deep breath <sighs> and realize that the house is gonna be fine. This is the last bucket of cement bits. Um, and now I'm gonna start leveling the the clay, leveling the soil at a at a little angle, sloping away from the house. So there we go. It's happening. Good morning. This is the current status. Starting to dig the channel over there, putting all the clay over here. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. I'll probably do it for an hour and then my arms will be tired. We shall see. In the meantime, look at that. I separated some seedlings yesterday. They're looking pretty good. This is Chad from Friends. Thank you, Friends. And this is Pak Choi. And there's some rocket over there. Let's see. Yes, rocket indeed. And this is Chinese cabbage. So looking good. And basil, parsley, dahlia. Looking all really, really good. Pom Pom Aster, looking forward to this one. <laughs> and here is some more broccoli. Broccolis. I think this half is broccoli and that one is, hmm, pak choy? I'm not sure. <laughs> no, there's pak choy. Okay. And this is nasturtium over here. They look really good. What is this? Fenugreek, fenugreek. Uh, some peas. <laughs> Everything looking really good. And I am trying my luck again with some uh, lobelia. This one is a trailing one. This one is a bushy one. So let's see how they do. So far, so good. Lots of clay. Trench looking really good. This was like maybe five, ten minutes of work. It's not that hard. Once you get going, it's not bad. Rain has helped me wash a couple of these stones. That's nice. Here's some more seedlings. Seedlings. Oh, melon seedlings. Lots of those have germinated. That's pretty exciting. They look okay for the most part. Uh, two or three, not so good. That's okay. Some more Chinese cabbage and pak choy. I didn't realize that so many were going to come up. So <laughs> that's going to be uh, in abundance for sure. And then I have a couple more over here. This was my planting station for now. And look at that. Still quite a few coming up. So looking good. Lettuce looking okay. That one looks really good. Maybe they like shade more than tremendous amounts of sun. This tomato not looking good. I wonder why. I had a I had one there last year and it did amazing. Um, there's another tomato looking way better. Yeah, it's funny how sometimes they just don't and it's a bit mysterious. Hmm, here's something nice coming up. That looks pretty cool. This is a lemongrass, by the way. And here's the decorative grass. So that one, I still don't know where to put it. This tomato looks pretty good. There's a pepper, marigold, some onions, another pepper, mm, some more peppers back there. Yeah, got some bobs everywhere. And over here we've got tomato, tomato, peppers. This is a tomato. It's in the shade and it looks amazingly happy and healthy. So that's interesting, because I thought tomatoes like sun. <laughs> okay. And there's a cucumber over there. And here's another cucumber, another cucumber over there. And, ooh, this one's been eaten by some slugs, it would seem. Hmm. Looks okay. We'll see. Let's see. Another little marigold. This one looks quite good. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is encroaching quick, so I'm going to have to do something about that. <laughs> Good news. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Survived, survived, survived. Nice much. Still don't know where to plant him, still in a pot. But looking okay, looking okay. I really need to, <laughs> I need to do something about this encroaching forest situation. Look at that, massive. It's like, it's a wall of green. Thank goodness I did straw land. That is really saving my sanity right now. Because having to deal with that, mm -mm. this is just going to be left. That's going to be next year's project. Uh, this little bit here I'm going to have to do this year because it's just coming closer and closer. <laughs> little Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Oh, she's just the cutest little thing. Oh. Hey, little one. Hi. Come outside, huh? Hmm, <laughs> outside time. She's not usually outside. She's inside cat. She comes outside for some scratchies. going back inside. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. <laughs> okay and over here we've got beautiful rosemary. Hello. Another tomato, some nettles, some lavender, lavender and a marigold back there and this is a cucumber. Okay I'm gonna carry on digging. <laughs> 